we must stop taking the ocean for granted and believing that it is permanent and that we can take from it and pour into it anything and everything without consequences. Reconciling the needs of man with those of nature. The Monaco Blue Initiative aims to help change our approach to the oceans by prioritizing specific collective and operational solutions. The Monaco Blue Initiative is an idea coming from exchange we had uh, close to 10 years ago. Since that period, it has been organized jointly by the Prince Albert II Foundation and by the Oceanographic Museum. The Monaco Blue Initiative is a kind of uh, think tank where we want really to lay the foundation of a new blue economy. Gathering such as this, where we bring together science with industry, with government, absolutely critical to inform policymakers and indeed develop policy. This is all about supporting Sustainable Development Goal 14, the Sustainable Development Goal for the Ocean. Could not be more urgent times for uh, saving the ocean from the threats which humanity has put it under. Today, 49 marine protected areas across 37 countries are listed as war heritage sites. When we look across the 49 flagship marine protected areas, we see that we are still quite far removed from reaching the international conservation targets. The Monaco Blue Initiative is crucial. It is crucial because it helps people to understand that there are still really ways to go if we are going to protect our marine protected areas. Actions that we can now take relate to protecting the ocean proactively. We thought the ocean was too big to fail. And for the first time, we're truly aware of how our choices will determine not just the future of the natural world, our future's on the line as well. hugely integrated subject and what you do uh, through this initiative uh, is an extraordinary attempt to bring all of those many strands together. I have no doubt that the various perspectives that are here in this room are a really important part of solving the problems in the future.